Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. HD Renovation! This game is supposed to be hyper cute, but also a horror game. I'm interested to see how these mix. New game. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love this already. Oh, oh God, it's a ghost. Welcome. Er, wait, no. A thousand? Oh. I love this. All right. So I guess we got to get through a thousand rooms. Uh, we don't know what's at the end. Uh, I love the absolute cheesiness of this so far. We're at room zero. We have two doors. I'm a left kind of guy. We're going left. Oh. Okay. It's got a vibe going, that's for sure. Like, it's super chill. But it's got the ambience. It's got that... Oh, I could have went right. Oh, there's multiple ways I could have went? Okay. Oh god, what was that? Also, notice I have health and what appears to be energy. Can I run? Oh, I can run. Okay. So I don't know if it's because it's cute or what, but something about this game is actually creeping me out right now. Like, I, this, I just have this sense of dread. It might just be, like, my anticipation of what's coming. Especially because it... <gasps> oh my god, it's so cute. It's so cute. And I'm getting scared. Okay. Okay. What is this? It looks like the, the kid from uh, Binding of Isaac. This is Binding of Isaac's uh, lesser known older brother. He uh, he liked dolls or maybe bananas. Good old yellow loving banana kid right there. Man, the darkness at the end of the hallway so you never know what's coming. Let's turn. You know, we're turning this time. We're taking that good old turn. Oh, it led to the same place. Okay, whatever. Room eight. We've gone through eight rooms so far. So a thousand actually might not be too bad. Can I open this? No, I can't. Can we see anything outside? No, we can't. Okay. Onward. Onward we march. Also, these chairs look like they're gonna move. What is this? Bones. I can't interact with them. And they turn with me. They're evil bones. That there's one of them spinning bones. They spin around. Nothing here. Whoever laid this castle out did an awful job. This is the kind of place I would make in The Sims. Dude, you can do that in The Sims. Just like make a big mansion and put people in it. But like make it make no sense. Put all their necessities at like far ends of the mansion. Anyway. Oh shit, is that him? Is that is that him? Is that banana loving baby? BBB? BLB, rather? <laughs> Room twelve. I'm getting scared for when I actually have to start running. Because I have health and energy. So at some point, I am going to have to run. Still can't interact with anything. We're still just going. To be fair, we have 985 rooms left. Might be a minute. Let's go through 
that door, go through that door, that door, that door. There's so many. I'm starting to wonder, do you think maybe these connect? Surely not, right? Especially because the number keeps going up. So surely these do not connect in any way. So I can't really interact with anything. Also, I love the art because this would be very simple to do. This is very low scope, but like very good use of it. Like not a, not at all against the game. If anything, I think it's advantageous. They did a really good job. Ooh, I don't know what this one is, but it's spooky. I like it. I don't know why I like that one. Is that a jump scare? I thought I saw a jump scare. Ooh, bunk beds. This castle is filled with tons of places to sleep and set things down in drawers that don't work. So, you know, it's kind of like being at a hotel. They should call this Spooky's Jump Scare Hotel. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not fun. At first, this place just seemed cute. But I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I'm getting this feeling like I am being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. Uh, why would this be romantic? Oh, yeah. Maybe this guy was tricked into coming here. <gasps> Maybe that's his skull. Spinning skull. Ooh. What is this noise? Is that the skull? <gasps> what? What? It's bones. And it, what happened? Wait. I think it was the bones making that noise. Why would it have switched? Okay, I don't know what happened. What is this? I don't know. Looks like an eyeball. All right. Uh, left door. Always left door. So, as I walk through this, I'm starting to wonder, like. Does this game have a set path, or is this all randomly generated? I guess since it had infinite mode, it's possible that this is all just randomly generated. Or maybe only infinite's randomly generated and this is a set path? I really don't know. Ooh. These are really good. Like, they're meant to be creepy, but also take a second to, like, really consider how good this is. This is really good. That takes skill to make. And this looks like a screenshot with filters over it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Man, I'm getting I'm getting spooked. We're gonna have one of those crazy jump scares again soon. I can feel it. I'm just hoping it's not gonna be a real one and it's just gonna be one of those cardboard things again. Room 27, man, we are making all kinds of progress right now. Still just trying stuff. You never know, maybe one of these will just randomly open eventually. Random chair. It looks like a person, but behind the person, do you guys see the bear? Do you guys see that bear that's like behind the person? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Man, a lot of rooms with no spoops. It's really putting me on edge. It's weird. Like, I'm actually surprised how creeped out I'm getting. I think at this point, it's just the delay. It's the fact that nothing's happened that's making it worse. We did hit room 30, though. Hmm. Maybe there's like a sequence I gotta go through these doors in a certain way. Curious. Can I go back? No. Once you've gone forward, you stay forward, apparently. There's no going back. It's been the same room a couple times in a row now. Oh. Well, that was a different noise. Are we actually going to see some creepy stuff soon? It just keeps going. It just keeps going. Maybe there is no end. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. That's cool. Is this liquid poured out on like a, a green piece of paper with art done behind it? It's kind of what it looks like. It looks really cool. I like it. Some smoke also looks cool. These bones are actually making noise. Make no mistake. As I spin them, I can kind of hear the sound spinning around me as well. I don't know if there's significance to that or not, though. I know something is following me, but I feel like I am prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress in reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. That's actually true. How long is this gonna take? I don't wanna die in here. To be fair though, that ghost seemed really nice. You never know. We have no clue what, what the motives of that ghost were. Maybe she was trying to put us in a false sense of like, false sense of security. Maybe we're like her 10,000th like, dead person or like victim. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's so stupid. Ooh, dugout face man. More bones. The noises are definitely becoming more intense slowly over time. That much is definitely true. We're nearing room 50. And something tells me at room 50, things are going to go down. I don't know what gives me that sense, but I can feel it. Of course, that's all what horror is, right? Suspense, expectations. So if I just stop having expectations, the horror goes away. It sounds stupid, but it's true. Let's just go straight. Zero expectations. <gasps> Fucking toast. Toast got me. Ah, carbs! Ah, I knew it. <laughs> Hang in there. Oh, thank you, uh, motivational kitty. Save. <gasps> oh, every 50 rooms is a save. Well, then you know what? Every 50 rooms is an episode. If they're long enough, I'll see you guys in the next episode.